Hi guys, it's your girl Tash. To all my subscribers, big up on yourself. You don't know up up. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who subscribed. You guys has encouraged me to do so much more with this channel. So for every like I see under my videos, for every comments that I see, it has given me the motivation to make more videos and to make better tutorials. So I just want to give you guys a big shout out and to say to you guys, you know, continue to like, continue to comment, continue to subscribe, continue to uplift my spirit. Because I remember I first started off this channel and um, I didn't start this channel with a purpose. I didn't start this channel with a real reason. You know, people in my circle were just telling me, you know, why don't you make some YouTube videos? You know, show people how to do these hairstyles. So my clients would come back to me and they would say to me, I'm getting so much compliments on the road. People keep touching my hair, asking how she did it. It looks so complicated. So I was getting so much booster. So I just decided three years ago that I was gonna start making some tutorials. So I started making some tutorials and I posted three videos on YouTube three years ago. I literally just posted three videos and then shortly after that, I had a bad pregnancy. So I wasn't doing hair for like a year or so. And I totally forgot about the YouTube channel. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't thinking anything of it. It wasn't something that I wanted to do at the time. It just wasn't in my plans at that time you know, to spend time on this YouTube channel. So, the channel was just sitting there for three years. I wasn't doing anything with it. So, just last year, one of my husband's brethren called him up and he was like, what's going on with your wife's channel? And he was like, uh, and he was like, what's going on with your wife's YouTube's channel? You know, she has like 4,000 subscribers she has 250,000 views on one of her videos. So when my husband relayed that message onto me, I was like, wow, 250,000 views, up, up. So I jumped on the YouTube channel. I started reading all the comments. I started looking at all the likes and the subscriptions that I'm getting. People are asking me questions, you know, people wanna hear more from me. People wanna see more from me. So that kind of uplifted me and not even kind of uplifted me, that uplifted me because last year I started making more tutorials. I started making better quality tutorials. I spent so much time editing my videos to make it good for you guys. So, you know, as I said, you guys just continue to like, continue to comment, continue to subscribe, because sometimes when you're doing something and you're working hard on it, it's good to know that people are learning from it and people are interested and people are taking something away from that, you know, and somebody might remember me and say, you know, um, I learned how to cornrow, you know, I learned how to cornrow from that girl on YouTube. So you just never know, you know, what someone is going through and sometimes, and sometimes people are working hard and all they need is a bit of upliftment. So you guys continue doing what you're doing, continue commenting and all that. So anyways, while we're in quarantine, I have been using my time to help beginners to master the art of braiding. So to all moms who are in quarantine right now, now is the time to start practicing. So I just wanna give a big shout out to all the moms who has been communicating with me on my social media, asking me questions and requesting videos from me. So well done to you guys for practicing. Because as soon as this crisis is over, we're all gonna go back to our busy lives. But at least we wanna have something to show for it. We wanna say that we've gained something from this experience. We wanna say that we've gained something from this isolation. You know, we've had time to reflect on ourselves. We had time alone just to really think about things. I mean, maybe some of you are cooking more at home. So some of you might say that, you know, I know how to cook now or probably I've become a better cook 
and a lot of you probably spend more time with your husband at home and probably work out some relationship issues i mean i know that a lot of side chicks right now is worrying you know and it's a good thing because you know this pandemic give them some time to really reflect on things like you know stop take people man stop take people man just go and find your one man you know so we've all had some time alone to reflect and a lot of um us being at home with the kids and with the husband you know we, we, we we're learning things about each other that we didn't know before because we're so busy with our busy life and work and this and party and this that we don't really spend that quality time at home so there's something positive to come out of this and i hope that you guys are reflecting on yourself positively and i know that a lot of you guys can't wait to start go out there and start socializing with a better version of yourselves right now so let's use this time to be more productive and take something positive from this experience improve on yourself improve on your relationship so i was on the phone with my sister the other day and i was saying to my sister on the phone you know this social distancing i'm enjoying it I'm actually enjoying the social distancing thing you know right now I have time just to reflect on myself it's a good excuse not to go around people right now it's a good excuse for me not to go around people you know and people can't just show up at your house unannounced and even if they announce it like who's gonna hear it who, who, who is gonna hear it right now I could go to jail for letting you into my house I could go to jail for letting you into my house I can't even put my head through the window. It's illegal, illegal, go on the yard. Mm -hmm. Just go on the yard. So I'm enjoying the social distancing. I'm reflecting on myself in a positive way. You know, as you guys can see, you know, I'm making more YouTube videos. I'm helping moms. I'm helping beginner moms who don't know how to braid properly. So um, there's a lot of things that I'm doing on this channel. I'm doing something for everyone. Um, I'm doing something for beginners, I'm doing dreadlocks, I'm doing something for professionals who already know how to braid but want to know how to braid the more complicated styles I probably want to do something that they don't know or they haven't seen before. So this lockdown is a good thing and I want to come out of it positive and I want to encourage you guys to come out of it with a positive feeling knowing that you worked on yourself you know there's something better in your life right now you've done something positive you've improved on something you learned how to cook you probably learned how to cook better you know you learned how to be a better version of yourself and you're gonna take that experience outside and you're gonna be better around people so anyways the real purpose of me making this video right now is just to really talk to you guys about this pandemic because I am a key worker so I have to still go out and work during this pandemic and a few weeks ago I came into contact with the virus and I was experiencing symptoms very bad symptoms for three days my whole body was in pain I couldn't sit down I couldn't lie down I was just in pain for all three days pain all over my body my in my joints was weak I felt I felt so much weakness in my joints it was crazy you know so on the third day I was so cooped up in bed and I was starting to have temperature and my husband he was so worried about me um, he was gonna call the ambulance I was like no I don't want to go hospital no hospital so he ended up calling my mother in Jamaica and my mother no, she got frightened and she was like, hurry up and rub her up with some rubbing alcohol. That's the rubbing alcohol pan I right now. And my husband was like, I don't have any rubbing alcohol. So my mother was like, are you finna have no rubbing alcohol? Are you finna have no rubbing alcohol? Yeah, we don't have three pin in the house and then have the rubbing alcohol. So, so my mother was like, so you must have white rum in the house because I know so she drink her white rum enough. So my husband said, yes, in my white rum. So my mother said, that's your white rum panar, that's your white rum panar. So <laughs> my husband came with the white rum and started to rub me up all over. You know, start rubbing, rubbing me up all over. And then my mother gave him this remedy where, you know, she told him, you know, peel off the skin off the orange, peel off the skin off the lemon, you know, put some ginger in it, put some vinegar in it. 
you know, and let her put her face over the pot and inhale the steam. So my husband did that. He took me out of bed. You know, I went to the kitchen. I started inhaling the steam. And I'm not going to lie to you right now. I'm not going to lie to you right now. Within hours, I started to feel better. Within hours, I started to feel better. I started to move around. I started to exercise because I'm a person that I'm always doing my exercise. So I started to move around the house more. I started to do my exercise, you know, and the next day I was better. I was still having a bit of pain in my joints and stuff, but you know, I was completely feeling better. I was better within a week. I was better within a week. The only thing I could say is that after a week, I started to lose my sense of taste. I couldn't taste anything and my scent was gone completely. I couldn't smell anything and that carried on for two weeks. For two weeks, I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't taste anything. So I did put the remedy on YouTube, it's on my channel. I showed you guys how to make the remedy, how to inhale it, you know, so I'll definitely encourage you guys to do that. With or without the symptoms, I would encourage you guys to inhale the steam. And if you are a key worker and you have to go outside, or even if you're just going outside to do the shopping, yeah, and you come back in, as soon as you go outside to the supermarket and you come back in, you inhale that steam. You inhale that steam because you're killing the bacteria. There are so much theories about this virus because first they were saying wash your hands regular or whatever. And then now they're saying that it's inside the hair. So if you're in the same room as somebody else, you're most likely to catch it. You know, that person don't have to sneeze or anything. I, I think it's just, I, I don't know. There's so much theories about this thing, but all I can say is you guys just take the right precaution. Just look after yourself. And every little thing helps you know you rub some white rum on your face you know or something when you step through the door you know every every look of thing helps you know so I'm telling you that remedy it works wonders for me so you guys take care and follow procedures don't worry we we'll soon do road we we'll soon do road man we we'll soon do road we have to do road with a better version ourselves May I tell her that we are going to do a better version of ourselves and you know we are going to appreciate so much the good things that we never appreciate before you know this is a wake up call for everybody it's a wake up call for everyone so you guys please follow me on Instagram and on Facebook to stay updated with this channel you can also start communicating with me on Instagram let me know you know how you guys are getting on with your practices let me know if there's anything that you want to see more in detail or anything you know, so you guys just follow me and, you know, just keep up with the channel. You know, so take care, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Up, up.